Before we end our class, let's discuss another essential feature, help and support. The first question you need to answer once you've decided to use Boomi is, what Atmosphere Edition is right for my business? Here is a list of packages we offer. The Base Edition. This is a starter solution to integrate two applications. The Professional Edition for businesses looking to fully integrate their back and front offices. Pro Support Edition. Additional functionality to support real-time integrations. Our Enterprise Edition, which has advanced features to support complex enterprise needs. And finally, our Enterprise Plus Edition, with advanced features and connectivity to support large enterprise needs. For more information, you can visit our boomy.com website. So let's look at the wide range of Atomsphere support options. These are available from the help menu within Atomsphere. First is the user guide, which offers technical and procedural summaries of the Atomsphere features. Now, if you're curious about how a particular feature or shape works, visit our user guide. The support link enters our support portal to contact our support department with any Atomsphere concerns. The support options offered will depend upon your subscribed level of support. The community link enters the Dell Boomi community and it includes forums to questions, knowledge center to find Dell Boomi authored articles, implementation guides, and videos, ideas on how you can submit and vote for upcoming releases, news to keep up to date on all Dell Boomi particular topics, and the Education Services webpage to help you with your learning needs. Finally, there's a link to go directly to the community's ideas section. Let's enter the community. The first time you enter, you must check a box to accept its terms and conditions. The Dell Boomi community top menu is where the first three items after the home menu reflects the search support order. First, look at the forum to see if the question's already been asked. Next, try the Knowledge Center to see if the question and answer exists. If the answer cannot be located, try the Ideas section to suggest or vote on a feature. And keep current by looking at the Dell Boomi News. Also on the home page, you can enter a question and search to find an answer. Find an item, use the global search in the right corner. It's powerful, easy to use, and the best way to get around in the community. For anyone who is new to the community, the New to Community Learn More link goes to the About Community space to learn more about how to best use the community. First, you want to update your profile and email communication preferences. To stay on top of everything Boomi, subscribe to the News Digest emails at least once a week. So let's put the community portal to use by going on a scavenger hunt. Let's say you're building a process and you want to know if mail connectors count against licensed connectors. Where would you learn about this? Let's go to the community to see if we can find out about those mail connectors. We'll click on Help and then Community. Inside the community, we can just type in mail connectors. And you'll see information about the mail connector. So you'll see how to use the mail connector, mail support, how to send an image to the mail connector using the CCC and BCC, and then you'll see the mail connector and licensing. Do mail connectors count against your licensed connectors? Well, they do count against the number of licenses you own. That's why we stress the importance of reusability by establishing shared folders that house your commonly used connections. Every new connector counts against the license count. So a process containing five Salesforce connectors on the canvas, but three of them are linked to the same connection component, then those three would count as one. So yes, it does. 
and this is how we would locate this information. For our second scenario, you want to learn more about the business rule shape. Where would you learn about this shape? When we want to learn general information about a particular shape, we can take a look at the user guide. By typing in business rules, by typing in business rules, we get general information about the business rule shape. This will tell you how it works, how things are executed, the user guide. Let's take a deeper look at the user guide. Boomi offers a comprehensive user guide for each of its platforms. You can get access to each user guide by clicking the same link, but the platform changes depending upon what guide you are using, such as Atomsphere, MDM, EDI, etc. The user guide is basically a searchable encyclopedia of Boomi shapes, technologies, and tools. It's a great place to get started to learn more about particular shapes, and you can find a lot of detailed information about many topics here. You can find it under the Help drop-down icon within the user guide, as shown in this image here. Now that you have a general understanding of some of our self-help options, let's take a look at your third option, Boomi Support. The support portal is the recommended method for contacting support. You can access this via the help link to browse knowledge articles, work together with other users, or to open up a support case. You also can contact support directly by sending an email to support at boomi.com to open a support case. Phone support is also available by calling the support number in the portal to create a support case for a SEV1 issue. This is only for Premier and Premier Plus support and is available 24 by 7. Live chat is also available from Sunday 8 p.m. through Friday 8 p.m. Eastern Time for simple issues. This option is only available for Premier and Premier support. Let's examine how to open a support case using the preferred method. To create a support case from your Atmosphere account, simply go to the Help menu and click Support. The Boomi User Community homepage opens. Halfway down the page is the contact support section with three options, chat, call, and the one you want, open a case. The support window opens. When entering a support case, three different sections must be completed. Let's look at each in detail. The first section is the case information. The right side of the case information, make sure your contact number is correct. This makes sure our support team can contact you. You then need to select the product you wish to create the case for, either Atomsphere, Salesforce QuickBooks widget, or MDM. Next, select the issue type. This allows our support team to narrow the issue. Once the issue type is selected, the severity will be chosen. Most customers leave the severity set at two. Let's move to the case description. The first item is the subject. We include a brief, meaningful summary of the issue. For the description, include details about the error. Information such as connector and document type should be included. While it's not required, it is important to include the error message received. To do so, copy it from the process execution report on the process reporting screen. Under the process reporting, you can view the error message details. You can copy and paste the highlighted section into the support case description error message field. This is found under the Manage tab, Execution Timestamp, Error, which is below the process name within the document view. When the error message is pasted into the case description, the next field to complete is the steps taken. The field lists all of the steps taken to try to resolve the issue. 
Now, please be as descriptive as possible and include the business effect if the process is not able to execute successfully. The support case's final section is the environment information. Include the component process URL to allow the support team to view the component or the process experiencing the error. To copy the process URL, just navigate to the process reporting page under Manage Process Reporting to find the process with the error. Select the gear icon under the Actions and click View Extended Information. Once Extended Information window opens, copy the extended ID, which is found on the first line. Next, click on the Add Filter and add the filter by the process ID to remove all other executions from the window. Paste the URL into the Process Component URL field. Select the application endpoints for the support case and list any connection types and data sources to help the support team find the information type, including where it is pulled from and sent. The support case is then complete and ready to submit. Click the Submit button to submit the case. Now before ending our class, we want to look at how to deactivate a process. Deactivating a process prevents it from running on a schedule or executing within an environment. This is important in emergency situations where data needs to stop syncing immediately or if you want to reclaim your connector licenses. Once the process is no longer available, it cannot execute in the environment and it can only be run in test mode. I'm now going to demonstrate exercise number 20, how to detach an atom. We're now back in our application. We're going to click on the Deploy tab. We're going to highlight our account XML to CSV. Click on the Attachments. Under Attached Environments, highlight Test. Click on the double arrow to detach the selected environments. It will now unattach the environment, regain the licenses, and move it over to the Unattached Environments section. This video concludes our Boomi Essentials class, but please complete the exercise before moving to your next Dell Boomi class.